Hey guys, GalaCommon23 back again with episode 15 of First Watch. Now, this week I was going to do a Schindler's List, but um, but I wasn't in kind of the mood for a, a three hour, well, a three and a quarter hour film. Um, well, not at least not as uh, kind of involving as a Schindler's List. So I thought I'd go for a two and a half hour film instead. Good fellas. <laughs> now, I've been wanting to watch this film for so many for, for so long, but I've never been able to get the Blu-ray at, at a uh, decent price. Now, I don't know if it's classed as cheating, but I'm a teeny tiny bit as I've seen kind of the first kind of 10-15 minutes of this, but I've never watched it from beginning to end. I've heard so much good things about it. Uh, quite a lot of people say it's uh, Scorsese's best film. Obviously, he's starring uh, Robert De Niro, uh, Ray Liotta and uh, Joe Pesci. I said I've been waiting ages to see this. I managed to get it for a good price, so... Uh, yeah, well, how long is it again? Uh, yeah, nearly two and a half hours, so it's not too bad. Uh, just something I can kind of kind of relax to, get engrossed in. So, uh, yeah, we'll check it out. So we are the uh, opening scenes. I don't, I don't, don't particularly like Blu-rays without have a main menu, but this one doesn't, so screw it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, there we have in the uh, end credits of uh, Goodfellas. Absolutely epic gangster movie, as you would expect from Scorsese, so... Yep, see you in a second with my thoughts. So yeah, just finished watching Goodfellas, absolutely epic gangster movie. Uh, I have to say it's not my absolute favourite. I think we'll probably uh, think the kind of the order for me will probably be like Scarface, Casino, and then Good you know, Scarface, Casino, then Goodfellas. Uh, again, great, great cast: uh, Ray Liotta, Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, uh, Boss Ovino, Frank Vincent. Uh, let's have a look. Sam Jackson's in there, even though they're in it for like. Not even a minute. Uh, Kevin Corrigan's in there. It was Lorraine Bracco, of course. Uh, who else? No, that's the kind of the, the main, the, the kind of the big names in this. Um, yeah, so they basically tell the story of uh, Henry Hill, played by Ray Liotta, the true story of Henry Hill. Uh, basically, when he was younger, he dreamed of being a gangster, and then he kind of works his way up the ranks of, uh, of the Italian mob. I believe it starts in the fifties and goes all the way to kind of the late eighties. Uh, again, just full of just classic scenes. Yeah. Do you think I'm funny? How do you think I'm funny? Uh, really, uh, really good scenes. Um, uh, what else can I say? Uh, again, just absolute considered a classic. Scorsese just an absolute ma uh, master in uh, the kind of the gangster films or in, uh, films in general. Really, uh, great shots. Looks, looks great on Blu-ray as well. It's really good on Blu-ray. Um, what else? Uh, it's a bit kind of. The only really problem I had with the film was the fact that it didn't really have um, kind of a, a straight through plot. It was just kind of like situations after situa situations that lead into other situations that kind of kind of go through the film. It is quite a lengthy film. Uh, well, including well, not including credits, it's literally two hours twenty minutes exactly. Uh, but I'd say it doesn't doesn't didn't drag at all for me. I said before I've actually kind of seen the first ten fifteen minutes before. I've never seen the film from beginning to end. Uh, I don't think I've seen every Scorsese film, but I'm pretty. I'm pr I think I'm pretty, pretty near. Uh, I'm trying to think, yeah, I think I've seen most of them, both from his newer ones. But uh, yeah, I said there's not one performance in this that isn't like top notch. Really, really off is really good as uh, Henry Hill, and uh, and also the other bad thing about uh, not bad thing about the film, but the kind of. The thing about the film was that sometimes I I kind of forgot who who was who. Uh, yeah, no, Paulie was Paul Sorvino. Uh, Jimmy was um, Robert De Niro, and Tommy was Joe Pesci. Uh, again, not not one kind of bad actor in the bunch. Yeah, I think it's one of those films that's kind of grow that's gonna grow on me after a while because uh, it wasn't kind of. Like completely really blown away by it. it's like the best film of all time or anything but I think if I watch it another few times it'll kind of I'll like it more each time it's a really a it's a really funny film as well some very jet black humor in this which I which I absolutely love anything like that yeah except with all the kind of well not the cameos but like the 
people when they're just starting their career, like Sam Jackson, like I said, he's in here for like less than a minute, then he gets killed. But <laughs> I, was, I didn't actually uh, recognise it was him until he was kind of in the film a bit later. Uh, Kevin Corrigan, which who looks about 12 in this film, which he might have been actually thinking about it. And also Frank Vincent, who played uh, Phil Leotardo in The Sopranos. There's a lot of uh, kind of Sopranos actors in this, which you would kind of kind of think of. Then also Michael Imperioli is in this film, again, for only like a couple of couple of minutes before I get, before I get shot. But uh, it's great, great to see. I think I do believe that was his first role, though. I'm not completely sure. It's a really well made film. Not once was I thinking, oh, is this over yet? Or not once was I bored. Uh, that's 9 out of 10 from me for Goodfellas. So, yeah, I think that's about it. That has been episode 15 of First Watch. Well, I thought I'd do a uh, kind of a really classic film that I haven't seen uh, for the episode 15, uh, somewhat of a milestone. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, as always, we want again next week, so please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.